Hello everybody and welcome to hole number one, par four of the Parc de Paris in the Skyline Cup tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, so let's go! Before I take my first shot, do not forget that the text guides are out, so you can get them at patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. So, in the end here, we're gonna start with hole number one, and we're gonna play here to the right, and not do as our opponent do and go into the rough, of course, but we are gonna try to stay on the fairway. The drive needs to be play over adjusted, 10% downhill, super important. Also have in mind that this is not the wind that is displayed in the tournament uh, because we do not know until the tournament starts. You can see I'm having the big topper here because the thought was like, hmm, should we try to get over? But no, you can see the trees there that we do have there at, at just before the green. Those trees are perfectly placed by the game makers because they will basically almost always be in our way. And that is super tough to come around. And the only thing we can do is to play ourselves straight forward here to the right. We would like to play with a different club than the big topper though. We do want to be playing with the quarterback. Uh, because the quarterback could give us a uh, better accuracy, a better ball guideline, and also a little bit more backspin. So that was the wrong club focus that we do change. The result in the end becomes the same. We stay there and then we do have a shot towards the pin here. And sure, we do have a very open fairway up there to the left with our drive. And I would not consider using that if we're not having a tailwind that we, that we can try to get over the water, roll past the trees and have an open shot towards the pin. That's the only reason I would uh, use the big and the left fairway up there to the left because the trees will be in our way. Now we're playing under the trees and we're going to bounce towards the pin and this is perfect that we can do that because if we would be even further on this fairway I mean bouncing over the water then the ball would be flying into the trees and that will definitely cause us to have a problem to saving the birdie in the end. Also, you can see I'm playing with a power three ball. Absolutely not necessary. It's, uh, it's the, um, what can I say, power one ball, power two ball, or maybe even a power zero ball with a little bit of side spin would be good. So hole number one, part four of the Parc de Paris in the Skyline Cup tournament. Have in mind that the Parc de Paris cannot be found on uh, any of the tours from second T. So I'm using an old recording giving you my advice here before the tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the Skyline Cup tournament.